Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one family, and we beg for the grace that we may truly imbibe the mission that the Christmas season would give us. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the blessed childbearing of the Holy Virgin Mary kept the flesh of your Son free from the sentence incurred by the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have been taken up into this new creation may be freed from the ancient taint of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the first letter of St. John. If you consider that God is righteous, you also know that everyone who acts in righteousness is begotten by Him. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may call the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. 
Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on Him makes himself pure as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who remains in him sins no one who sins has seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted Him, He gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, on whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pagkatapos ho ng mga simbang gabi, pagkatapos ng December 25, pagkatapos ng January 1, kamusta na ba tayo? 
tapos na po ang mga Christmas holidays at marami sa atin ang balik na sa trabaho, balik sa eskwela. Most of us are now going back to our usual routine. And for some, we are still wishing that the holidays are not yet over. Kung pwede lang sana ma-extend pa yung bakasyon. Pero hindi na pwede. Kailangan na ulit bumalik sa mga gawain natin. But even if the Christmas holidays are over, the Christmas season is not yet over. Kaya pwede pa rin ho tayong bumati ng Merry Christmas sa isa't isa. Yung Happy New Year, parang medyo out of touch na kapag babati na tayo, pagkapagbabati tayo ng Happy New Year. But we can still greet one another Merry Christmas because Christmas season is not only December 25. It stretches until the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. And as the holidays are over and we go back to our usual routine, now is the good time for us to reflect on the Christmas spirit. Now is the good time for us to see how do we carry the Christmas, the, the spirit of Christmas. We have opened our gifts. We have spent our Christmas bonuses. We have already been mesmerized by the deckers. And now what? Madali kasing madala sa saya at tiwanag ng Pasko. Kahit yung iba sa atin may mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay, kahit papano, nadadala pa rin tayo sa galak at kulay ng Pasko. Pero ngayong mas kalmado na ang pakiramdam natin, ano na ho ba ang tinuturo sa atin ng panahon ng Pasko ng Pagsilang? First, hopefully the Christmas season has taught us to become wiser. The mystery of the incarnation, God becoming man, Jesus being born is wisdom being born, wisdom in the flesh. Intelligence can put us in key positions. Intelligence can give us the prestige. But wisdom can only make us humbler. Wisdom will show us the way of humility. Wisdom will teach us the ways of God. After having that high feeling during our Christmas preparations, after all the hype, can we now determine what God is teaching us now that everything has died down? Baka kasi nalunod lang din tayo sa saya at kulay ng Pasko, kaya nang medyo nakalma na ang lahat, tangay-tangay na rin yung aral ng Pasko. Secondly, the Christmas season now sends us as beacons of hope. Nung panahon ng Adviento, tumatanaw tayo ng may pag-asa. We were anticipating with hope. Now, we are the ones carrying that hope. Kaya minsan parang ang hirap kumawala dun sa saya at galak ng Pasko kasi yung pakiramdam na yon papasok sa atin, papunta sa atin. May natatanggap, may nakukuha, merong mga niyayaka para sa sarili natin. Kaya, nandun yung excitement, nandun yung saya. But in this Christmas season, we are now the ones being sent to share the glad tidings to others. We are now to become the new faces of hope. Because not all of us have experienced that joy and excitement. This becomes our mission, that even without the joy and excitement, we can still enliven in that hope for them. After the joy and excitement had died, had died down, what is now our Christmas story? Are we still focusing on the? Are we still focusing our gaze on the Christmas manger, or have we looked into the manger of our hearts? Because it is now our turn to share that wisdom. It is now our turn to share that hope wherever we go.
Please stand. John the Baptist points to Jesus as the Son of God. Let us turn our hearts and minds to him as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders and members of the church may go out of their own little worlds to bring people to the knowledge of Jesus with their self of effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in public office may not seek personal gain, but give the best of themselves for the interest of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parents may realize their special mission of discipleship to the community in handing on the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all those who are sick and suffering may come to know that God the Father cares for them and that they are precious in his eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our friends who in baptism died with Christ and have now completed their earthly journey may share in the power and glory of his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. God, our Father, you have fulfilled your promise to us by the gift of your Son. Grant us the grace to become true witnesses of his coming. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, 
who touch us through our partaking of your, sac of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.